Can police use your Facebook profile and posts, or any social media for that matter, in a criminal case against you? Yes, they can, and it's often one of the first tools they go to when conducting an investigation. Hi, my name's Dale Savage, and today we're gonna to talk about uh, social media posts and how law enforcement use that when conducting an investigation in a criminal case. The popularity of social media posts and what we put out there for public to view is fair game for police. More importantly, if your profile settings are set to public, then police don't even need a search warrant to conduct that investigation or collect that information and use that against you and have it admissible in a court of law. The reason being is because you put that out there for the general public to view, then they don't need to go to a judge and have a warrant signed to be able to conduct that search because you've made it available to the public. In fact, going to a person's uh, public Facebook page or their profile is one of the first tools that police use when conducting an investigation. It's quick, they don't need a warrant, and all that information is laid out there right in front of them on their computer. So what are the types of information that police are looking at and use to collect in their investigation of a crime? It can be such things as photos, uh, often seen photos of uh, people accused of crimes that have posted pictures of them with firearms or shooting firearms, then with firearms and drugs, drugs and cash, and profile pictures of themselves, profile pictures of themselves with other people. The other information that police can sometimes gather from a person's public profile is uh, personal information such as where a person may work, where they went to school, where they live, who they know, their Facebook friends, uh, people they may be connected with, and also um, pictures of themselves. A lot of the times police may not um, have a photo of someone accused of a cr criminal activity and they cannot show that uh, victim in a crime to be able to make that identification. However, with a Facebook post and photos, they can download that or show that to a person and use that to make an identification. And if that person does identify someone from that photo, then that person most likely will be charged and arrested for whatever that crime may be. Sometimes there could be information that people put out there that will document criminal activity or use slang terms for criminal activity and police can use the date and times of those postings to see whether they correlate to the crime that they suspect they're involved in. Not only can it implement them in a crime, it can also implement others that police may not suspect are involved because um, a person may communicate that to their Facebook friends or other connections through social media. That gives them tools to go and investigate or talk to other people and find out what they know or don't know about that particular crime or what they know about you. So if you've been charged with a crime and police are using Facebook information against you, please give me a call at 843-530 7813. I hope this information was helpful and thanks for watching.